everyone. Today we are looking at the new Dior. Here's the box. The Blooming Boudoir. You have to give it to Dior. They do know how to do packaging. And it comes with this gorgeous with lavender ribbon. It was, it was really beautiful, I have to say. The boxes that they do, the special edition boxes, are really, really nice. So the Blooming Boudoir collection. There's a couple of different pieces. I didn't pick up all of it, but I picked up a lot of it. So let's just go through what there is. There is a Dior Addict lipstick, um, blooming colored lipstick. It's like a bright pink. I did not pick that up because it's just not really my color. There's a new Addict Lip Glow, which again has that big bright pink. Did not get that. There are three maximizers. The one that goes, three new maximizers. The one that goes with this collection is Nude Bloom, which I have on right now. And it's actually my favorite shade that I've picked up from the maximizers. It's really good. It's, um, it's nude. It it's a nude shade. It has like a little bit of pink. Uh, but it has a little bit of a little bit of shimmer, but not a lot. It's it's a really great shade. So if you pick up nothing else from this collection, I would really recommend the Nude Bloom because it's it's stunning. I really, really love that. There is the Dior Attic Lipstick Case. This is the Blooming Boudoir Lipstick Case, and this is limited edition. Now, again, if you wanted the Blooming Lipstick, the Attic Lipstick that goes with this, you can get it. I did not pick it up. It, like I said, it's pink. So I just put patchwork in here because I, I like the case, but I don't like the new color. But I did pick up the case because the case is stunning. And I'm going to show you in comparison to the Miss Dior from last year that has a similar look. There is the Dior Forever Cushion Powder. This is what the powder looks like. It's a lavender powder. And yes, we'll talk about whether it's the, the glitter or not. And then last but not least in this collection, there is the Dior 10 Colors Blooming Boudoir eyeshadow palette. These are all limited edition, by the way. And so it's got that packaging on it. There is a quint that is available uh, on Neiman's. I've seen it at Neiman's. It might be available on Dior as well. I did not pick it up. It has red in it. It has a pink in it. It's just not, it's just not my thing. So I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> Just was like, mm. and you know, the new, once they changed the formula, I wasn't as interested in picking up every single quint, to be honest. So I, so I didn't. Unless there's a, a huge outcry from all of you that I that I need to pick it up. Um, the pink holographic blush that was available overseas and then was released at the same time that this was, I was going to pick it up. And then while I was asking all of you on Instagram whether I should, what I should pick up and what I should concentrate on, it sold out. So uh, I will probably pick it up in the future if it's something you guys still want to see, if it's available again. But at the moment, you can't get it because it's sold out at Dior. So let's talk about the case really quickly because, again, the lipstick's not new. So I didn't pick up the new lipstick, so I can't show you that shade. But I can show you the case, and I can show you it in comparison to the Miss Dior. The Mille Fiore that was out before. So it is a very similar design, but it's not the same. But the fabric on here is the same shade, the, the creamy white shade. So if you're interested in that. The luminizers, like I said, this is the Nude Bloom, which I picked up that's part of this collection. Absolutely beautiful. As I said, this is like my favorite shade. I'm gonna put these on the back of my hand so you can see it. It's, it's really, it's beautiful. Like it's like a peach. It's like a shiny peach. Um, yeah, it's a great, great shade. And like I said, I have it on my lips. Now the other two shades that I picked up are new. I don't think they're part of the Blooming Boudoir collection, but they're new. So I was like, well, I'm gonna pick them up. Uh, the first one is Holo Silver. Holo is in like holographic. Looks like that. Yeah, it's just a clear, silvery, holographic gloss right there. I think that will look great over liner or over other lipsticks. And then this one is 049 Pure Copper. 
just like that. So those are the three new shades. Again, this is the Nude Bloom, which is like a peachy, really beautiful shade. This is the Holographic Silver, and this is the Pure Copper. I think this is gonna look really nice on. This is gonna probably be a favorite as well. I might pick up one of each. Those are really, those are really nice. It says limited for the Pure Copper, by the way, on the site. The Nude Bloom also says silver, it also says limited. The Hollow Silver also says limited. So I think these are all limited edition. It doesn't say limited edition, it just says limited. But anyway, I think they're all limited. These might be my favorite three I've seen. Like, cause this one just goes with everything, the neutral one. This is a great coppery shade and I just love this nude bloom. Let's take a look at the powder before we get to, to the eyeshadow. And I, I have swatched the eyeshadow already for you guys so you can take a look at it. This is a new one. This is the Misty Or Millefiori. So they do look similar. The designs are similar, just like the, the lipstick cases. But the good news is that this powder is the lavender powder that is just the regular lavender powder. Um, it's, not the, it's not the glitter bomb that the Millefiori is. So that's, that's the good news. So you can get this case, you can get the regular lavender powder, which is one of my favorite powders, and not have to worry. So it's a really great powder. I'll put it on at the end um, so you guys can see it. All right. Eyeshadows. So this is 002, a Blooming Boudoir, and it is a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. I don't love the color story here, guys. Um, I picked it up mostly because of, you know, the packaging in it and because I decided not to pick up the, the quint. Um, so I was like, all right, well, I'll pick this one up so you guys can see it and you can see how it looks. I also did not pick up the backstage palettes, the nine pan palettes. They're not my favorite. I'm not sure why, just they never really, I don't know, they just never really appealed to me. So. I didn't get them. Um, nothing wrong with them. I just, they're just not my thing. So um, I'll have the swatches go up. These are the swatches of, of all the shades. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some of this as blush and then we'll use other things on my eye. Uh, so these shades, the pink and these pinks, actually I think will look really nice as blush. This is a very bright, pink blush. This is a very light pink blush. And this is like a corally kind of shade. Um, I mean, this one here is kind of like a corally kind of shade, which actually looks, I think will look nice. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of, of all three. Um, not a lot, but this is the corally kind of shade. This is a very soft brush that I'm using. So I'm trying not to put on too much of it uh, in case it doesn't really work as well as a blush um, because these are our eyeshadows. And very much like the other one, and I'll show you that one in a minute, the 10 pan, the shades in that one I liked even less because I felt like it was more of a face palette than it was an eyeshadow palette. So you can see like that's a pretty blush color. It's a pretty coral blush color. But I mean, I think it's gonna look okay on the eye, but it's just not like my favorite. Um, all right, so then we're gonna take this very bright pink. This is pigmented. Kind of put it more on the apples of my cheeks, a little higher. See how bright it is? It's actually a nice blush. I mean, it works as a nice blush. Now I'm gonna take the really light pink shade and I'm gonna use a, like a small brush. Just a little brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take that bright pink, the Barbie looking pink there. Just kind of pop it. It's that cold girl look. We'll be back in winter soon. Hard to believe, but it's already getting chilly. All right, so I have a lot more blush on than I usually do, but that's okay. That way you can see it. So the shades are all very nice. They're going on well. You know, good payoff. They look nice. All that good stuff. Um, but again, those shades to me lend themselves more to, to a blush than to eyeshadow. I'm not saying they won't work as eyeshadow. I'm just saying, I'm not somebody who wears a lot of pink or a lot of coral on my eyes, so. Um, all right, so as you can see in the swatches, and I'll, I'll move over again, this shade is basically the color of my skin. This shade is like like brown or cooler than my skin, but it's not, it doesn't really show up. This one has a little bit more of that orange, and this works kind of like as like a highlighter. So I'm gonna use the brown shade and that peach shade 
kind of as contouring um, for my eyes and I'm gonna use them like sort of together. So I'm gonna start with this shade, the peachy shade, basically all over the eye because it's it's gonna blend into my skin. You can see like it doesn't, it doesn't really show up on my skin. It'll look, you know, it'll have more of a contrast or I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. It's like a nice light peach, um, but you know, it's, it's basically the color of my skin with a little bit of shimmer. So I'm kind of putting this down to lighten the entire look. All right, now we're gonna take the tan shade. Gonna use that a little bit more in the crease. And like I said, it's not that much deeper than my skin, but it's a little bit. I'm gonna take the peach shade, which again, it's, it's a little bit of orange, but it's not, it's not like a super bright orange. It's more like a peach, like a little bit deeper than the one that I put all over the eye. Take the white shade, use that in the brow. It's actually a nice bright, like sparkly creamy white. That's actually nice. Use that kind of in here too. It has a little bit of iridescence to it. Now we're gonna take a very fluffy brush. This is a, this is Surratt. I think it's, I think this is a large size. Could be the medium. I'm gonna take this plummy shade. And the reason I'm using this type of brush is I want something that's gonna be very diffused. Because if you notice the way it's going on my eye now, it's very light. And when you swatch it, it's much deeper. But I don't really like a cranberry shade. So if I'm putting it over these other shades and I keep it really light, I'll just give it a little bit of that color, but not a lot. If you ever have a shade that you don't really like and you don't want to use a lot of it, use a brush like this and you can diffuse it out. Plus, if you're putting it over these other shades, it'll, it won't take on as much of the pigment. All right, now we're gonna take this really deep shade and I'm not gonna use a lot of this. That's the purple shade. It's very deep. It's a nice purple. I don't wear a ton of purple, but it's a nice shade. And we'll use this on the outer corner and then I'll also use it as liner. I am getting some fallout from that, but that's okay, I can clean that up. All right, let me clean up the outside of the eye, and we'll use it as liner. Okay, so purple on the outside of the eyes, outside of the edges, and then lined. So I think it actually looks quite nice. I think the purple, the deep purple, is probably my favorite shade in here with the white. I think those two are nice. The other ones, I mean, I think are okay, but for some reason I like I like the deep purple, which is not something I usually like, but I, I like that shade. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put some mascara on, we'll come back and then we'll use the powder. Okay, mascara's on. Yeah, I actually like this look a lot more than I thought I would. I think it actually looks really nice, so I'm eating my own words. But uh, not my favorite color story, but actually the look is really good, so I can't complain. Um, I like that purple. I don't know why, but I, I do. I like that purple, I think it looks good. So let me show it to you in comparison to the Mitza palette, the other 10 pound palette that came out. And you can see this one's much pinker, much more in my opinion, like blush. Whereas this one, I think feels like, you know, it could be more eyeshadow and face. I mean, again, that's just because of the colors I like. I did not use the yellow. So I am gonna use the yellow in the inner corner and then I will have used all the shades. Now let's take a little bit of yellow. But if you're somebody who likes yellow, there's a yellow in here. Yellow just doesn't look good on me. Nothing against yellow, just, it's not my shade. Okay, so that is the 10 pan palette. And I have to say, like I said before, I know I'm just repeating myself, I actually think the look looks really nice. Um, but you know, the color story, it's cool. It's got that yellow in it that I don't really use, but the purple, there's not that purple in the white that I, that I do like. Uh, all right, so the powder. This is the lavender powder. It's, uh, I have it, the Mitza is the same one, I believe. Um, and then it comes in just the regular packaging. 
And so I'm going to use the puff that's in here just so you can see what it looks like. You might as well use the thing that comes with. And I'm going to just sort of press it. Certainly tone down the, uh, the blush. But yeah, it's a great powder. Very, very pretty. Love the lavender powder. I just think it brightens. It looks really nice on the skin. It looks great under the eye. I tend to use a brush when I do it, but you can use the powder puff if you'd like. My skin is a little bit drier, so I feel like for me, I don't need the puff as much. But underneath the eyes, I would suggest using the puff, like a triangle puff, and just like press it in like this. It's gonna work better. It's gonna give you a, you know, a better look um, than a brush, usually. Not always, but usually. So overall, what do I think about the collection? Love the packaging. Love the design. It is a little bit different than the Millefiore. The the powder is one of my favorite powders. Love the packaging. The eyeshadow palette looks a lot nicer than I thought it would. The Lumin, the uh, Maximizer, I think these are my favorite shades of the Maximizers. I love all three shades. I'm going to take a little bit of the holographic and just put it on over this and just see what it does. Yeah, it's just like a nice silvery holographic shade. The copper and then the nude I think are going to be my favorites, but I like this too because you just put it over everything and I love the maximizer formula. Uh, so foundation that I have on, I have on the Dior Forever, which Dior Forever this is, it's the um, cushion foundation in 1N by the way, just so you're, if you're wondering what the foundation is, and it's a really good foundation. I really like cushion foundations on me. I think they work well. The case for the Attic Lipstick. Again, this is the old one, this is the new one. Really beautiful. I might pick up another one of those because I love the design so much, but I did not pick up the lipstick that goes with it. If you guys really want me to pick up the Quint, let me know um, and uh, maybe I'll pick it up. And the blush, like I said, it's just, it's sold out right now, so I can't get it. Um, but I, I, you know, I think I'm going to lean towards not picking up the Quint because Dior Holiday is like right around the corner and I do want to pick up the Dior Holiday collection. And so, you know, gotta pick and choose. Can't pick up everything. So that's it guys. That's uh, the entire Blooming Boudoir collection, at least what I picked up. And if you have any questions, certainly put them down below. I'd love to know if you picked up any, any pieces in this collection, anything you're interested in. Um, let me know, you know, what your thoughts are. I love everything that I bought. I actually like it more than I thought I would, which is, which is always nice. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.